what's going on youtube tribe welcome back to the channel today we have a brand new artist to the channel and to myself never heard a full track from this individual i've seen little snippets here and there snippets of his songs but today we have jelly roll son of a sinner now i've grown interest in him recently because he came out on the joe rogan podcast yes i'm guilty i checked him out on the joe rogan podcast checked out the whole conversation i think his story is extremely interesting now, i know i'm late because he has been growing exponentially throughout the past couple of years from what i've heard and i mean just look at his youtube channel 2.8 million subscribers this video alone 57 million views I know I'm late to the party, but listen, we're going to check it out together. If you're new to the channel, consider joining the tribe by hitting subscribe, drop a like and a comment down below. It helps the channel grow. And we also have a bunch of links in the description, discord, Twitch, and Patreon. We do majority of these reactions on Twitch. You're going to want to be part of that live experience. The discord is basically a small growing community of people who just love and enjoy music. We're always talking about it there. Make sure to go check it out in the description. With all that being said, let's get this reaction. Never get lonely. I got these goals to keep me company. I took the rear view off of this so forward, so I only see him in front of me. Now the past is out of sight and out of mind. Swore I'd change, now I'm back chasing these white lines. I'm just a long haired son of a sinner, searching for new. I'm a paddle to the highway If you ever wonder why we write these songs I So before we continue, this is what I'm getting off of the track so far. Um, someone, well, the track is called Son of a Sinner, alluding to the fact that maybe he's inherited some type of generational curse, some type of addiction that has been passed down to him, maybe his father or mother. And based off of the podcast I listened to, I know his mom dealt with a lot of um, drug addiction issues. So that could be something there. And then he mentioned also the white lines, obviously alluding to cocaine and things along those lines. And then at the very end of that verse, he basically says, all this pain is essentially why he writes the music that he writes. It's so beautiful. Let's continue. Cause I'm only one drink away from the devil. I'm only one call away from home. Yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle. I guess I'm just a little right and wrong. crazy how he's just split into two here he's literally one shot away from doing something stupid and maybe unforgivable but he's also one call away to just going home and being safe and and living to see another day whatever it is but he says i'm just caught in the middle i'm i'm in a pickle here because i know what's good for me but i kind of want to take this shot i kind of want to go this route and I'm sure that has to do with all the pain that he's dealt with. So dope. These back roads got me. These pills pretend to be my friend. I'm done for the last time. I'm lying to myself again. I always say that. Now I'm on my way back here somehow. I should know by now. Searching for new voice is incredible here. I can get gone. I'm a pedal to the highway. If you ever wonder why we write these songs. Wow, you can tell that the bartender is kind of sick of hearing it. <laughs> you just see your facial expressions like, okay, here we go. I really like how different individuals of different demographics are panning in and out of this frame and it really has to do with the fact that everybody has their own issues and everybody's battling 
in their own regard, right? You're seeing women, you're seeing different ethnicities. So dope because now he's casting that net to bring everybody in and saying, we all have issues, we all have problems, right? I just think it's kind of funny how they're venting to the bartender that's kind of sick of hearing everybody talk about it. That's funny, but it's, it's a deep song, right? And if you're going through something, this is something you can appreciate. Let's continue. Slowly breaking My pop appeal and smoke and maybe drink Talk to God and tell him what I think At first he's gonna hate me But eventually he'll say I'm just a long head son of a sinner Searching for new ways I can get gone I'm a Definitely not what I expected. I'm gonna be honest. I think I've seen some snippets and tracks of his where he's actually rapping. Am I am I tripping here? Is that actually him? I could be wrong there, but obviously we're getting country elements here. And what I've heard off the podcast, he is someone that can appreciate all genres of music. And he's actually said that he's tapped, he's been able to kind of fuse music together. I don't know if that's what he's known for, but we got hard country elements in this track the music just sounds beautiful his voice complements the the track so well he has an amazing voice and again i hate to keep referencing it but on the podcast he actually says that he's only taken two singing lessons in his life and they're actually they actually were recently so obviously he is talented vocally his his penmanship with the lyrics and painting the story of feeling like a son of a sinner you have been past this curse of a torch downwards and now you're in this battle and great job on casting that net and bringing everybody else feeling like i started to think about things that i have gone through right great job that's what music should do to you i mean this is amazing track we got to get to more jelly roll let me know what y'all think about this track in the comments below also let me know what other track from jelly roll that we should check out with all that being said if you're new to the channel you enjoyed the reaction you enjoyed the breakdown make sure to join the tribe hitting subscribe and we also have other videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button somewhere here on your screen peace